Dan. Hi. I'm so glad to run into you today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, can you tell you know our listeners a bit about your background, about sure. your involvement with NFT NYC and other projects that you're working on? Yeah, well, I co-produce NFT NYC. I have since we started it, so it's been amazing to see you know 20,000 people come to New York recently for that. Uh, I'm a tech entrepreneur, so mm -hmm. I start tech companies, uh, fortunately with the same team over and over again. So we're on company number seven. It's called Attention Live. We built Web3 infrastructure for podcasters. So between doing events like NFT NYC or being here for NFT Expo Verse, they asked me to come do the closing keynote tomorrow. So that's uh, called Web3 in 2033, giving my and hopefully the industry's collective predictions on where we might be in a decade. Oh, very cool. Yeah, when I've... I've had a pleasure of emceeing an NYT and NYC. And yeah, we're so NYC, glad to have you. And it was, it that was, was at the Coinbase stage, it, right? Yeah, yeah. It you was, did great. <laughs> thanks. It was really, you know, so many people, amazing presenters. Yeah. It was just an amazing conference. The way you guys pull it off, so many stages. Incredible 16, team. 16,000 people. Yeah, I, I stand if I applaud the team. <laughs> I chant I their name. Yeah. Team, team. <laughs> no, that was really awesome. I'm more of a cheerleader. I, yeah. I say a joke. I say, with our event, I'm like the front man in the band. I don't write the songs. I don't play any instruments. I just... Uh, Orchestra. I, well, I, I, I sing some songs, and I, I help uh, create some energy and enthusiasm for the community. Awesome. And what are you most passionate about in, in your in a projects you work in your line of work or the industry, whatever? What's, what's, what's your passion in this space? Most passionate about... I guess it's the long-term ambition of... There's 3 billion people in the world that don't have the internet. Mm -hmm. They make less than $2 a day. If we can apply uh, methods to where these people can interact with uh, technology, with their voice, if that interaction is content and that's on the blockchain and it provides them an ability to own something of value, um, maybe they can actually listen to earn, right? Instead of play to earn, the thought of podcasters and brands saying, hey, we just want a big audience. And how might our technology attention life play out over time to provide prosperity and abundance for these uh, people that are impoverished currently, whether they're listening and engaging or whether they're creating their own content, telling their uh, ancestors war stories or how they rear children or how they do gardening. So I think I'm probably most drawn to how does this play out in the next century? How does this play out in the next decade? How might uh, artificial intelligence combined with blockchain, combined with NLP, right, the ability to speak to machines, then speak back, how does that play out? Uh, when you bring it to these impoverished people that don't yet have the internet, don't yet have cell phones, and all of a sudden they have a chance to participate in a global economy. Oh, that's beautiful. And you're providing education as also well free education and a way to yeah. get into a brand new industry that will allow people to basically earn and support their families and yes. be more connected. I love that. It's so beautiful. Then they can all get shoes like yours because those are <laughs> some of the coolest shoes I've ever seen. I just noticed and completely sidelined our conversation <laughs> because they're so cool looking. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Comfort too. Yeah, well, yay. Yeah. Double, double win. Yeah. So what time are you speaking tomorrow? I speak tomorrow. It's the closing keynote. I believe they schedule me for just after 5 p.m. Okay, great. Saturday, July 30th. Yeah. It'll probably be live streamed, but they told me that's the case. So, uh -huh. yeah, if you can be there, I'd love to see you in the audience. If not, it'll mm -hmm. be recorded. I always figure when I talk, I'm not sure if people even care what I have to say, but maybe my great, great, great grandkids in a couple hundred years will be like, that's what, you know, whatever. It's all about we'll see. in the right direction, we'll see. right? Yeah, and I do enjoy the opportunity to inspire an industry, yeah. lay out a vision for where things could be in a decade. A lot of people are not comfortable with that. Uh, for me, I've interviewed like 500 people in this industry in the last four years, many of the most successful entrepreneurs in Web3. And I've always asked them, hey, what's the future look like? Like, what do we look at like three months from now or a decade from now? So I believe I've been able to kind of bring a consensus around some of the themes that collectively the leadership uh, believe we can achieve over the course of the next decade or so. Yeah, beautiful. And how'd you get in the industry? 2017, I was running events at Twitter's uh, headquarters. I was the entrepreneur residence at their innovation hub. I had three other entrepreneur in residence uh, roles. I had just had one of my companies acquired by a private equity firm. And I was thinking about what to do next. My 
concern with SaaS companies is that oftentimes a automated software company became a manual soft, you know, a tech enabled services company. The valuations go down significantly and you can't scale. And I thought there's got to be a solution around AI with this. And when I saw smart contracts, mm -hmm. which was applied with Dapper Labs, Crypto Kitties, right? <laughs> and I look at this and I think, wait, wait, if smart contracts get applied to software companies, potentially those that would not be able to scale would rely on humans to provide customer service could scale if you applied NFTs, things of that nature to this process. So that was my great attraction about five years ago was the thought of automating businesses. Yeah, well, it's, uh, and to wrap it up, what do you think, because there's so much fear in the markets right now, obviously, but <clears throat> what's your personal view on where their markets and crypto, crypto Web3 is, is going? Well, the Web3 uh, markets, whether it's NFTs or Metaverse or some of the different things happening with the layer one, layer two blockchains, um, it is going to be immersive. Our house deed is going to be an NFT. Uh, our car, Pink Slip, is going to be, uh, for, you know, sales are going to be organized through smart contracts. Middlemen will be removed. The barrier for people to create and be uh, compensated for their creation is going to lower more and more and more. Uh, so my perspective is that we're in a great place of growth. Um, and people probably should be less focused on speculative investing, less focused on the gambling element of this opportunity, more focused on building and creating something that provides real utility, real value long term. And if you're not doing that, find a team that is and support what they're doing. Could not have agreed more. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thanks and for letting me jump in and be yeah, a part of it. Appreciate it. All right. Great to meet you. Great to meet you.